Hello, I'm Vanessa Valdivia. I'm the Arts and Humanities Coordinator here at the Discovery Children's Museum and I would like to thank you for joining us for this collaborative art experience we're having here at the Discovery Children's Museum and with the Philharmonic. Today we're going to be painting to some music. We're going to be creating an abstract painting. So what is abstract art? Abstract art is using real life as inspiration and you're using different colors and shapes to capture that moment in life. So let's go over some of the things that you're going to need to create this art piece. First, you're going to need a drawing surface or a painting surface, a piece of paper, some sort of palette to mix your paint. Here I'm using palette paper, but you're more than welcome to use a plastic palette or any type of container that you have. You're going to use some type of paint. I have here acrylic and watercolor paints. You're going to need some waters and some paintbrushes. So let's talk a little bit about shape and color before we get into our painting. So there are two types of shapes that we're going to talk about a little bit. We're going to talk about geometric shapes and organic shapes. I know those words sound a little big, but we'll talk about what they mean. Geometric shapes are shapes that you probably already know. Those are the shapes that usually have names like circle and triangle and square. And those shapes are usually man-made. And you can remember them because when you add them all together, they kind of build a house and people live in houses. Organic shapes, you probably heard the word organic before in cooking or with food or sometimes the type of clothes you wear. Organic just means natural. So those shapes are going to be found in nature. So those are the shapes that kind of look like clouds and flowers and trees and maybe a type of snail or a little bird. So we're going to combine these two shapes to create our abstract painting. Okay. So now that we're familiar with the shapes we're going to use, let's talk about color. So we, per, I'm pretty sure we all know some of our colors. We know our primary colors and our secondary colors. So in realistic art, you want to match the colors perfectly so it looks real. In abstract art, you can use any type of color you want but you use it to create kind of a story. So you might use some colors that are sad if you're feeling sad. So some colors that you might use would be blue, purple, green. Those colors are kind of seen as sadder colors. And if you're feeling a little happy, you might use something a little brighter, a little bit more warm, like yellow, red, and orange. So we're going to be listening to this music and we're going to try to create some art inspired by it and we're going to try to capture the tone that's like the feeling we get when we're listening to this with the shapes and with the colors we use. Okay. When I'm listening to this music, I feel kind of a calm sound and I feel calm. So a color that I use when I feel calm is blue because it kind of reminds me of water and the ocean. So I'm going to start my background with some blue colors. Because it's so calm, I'm going to just do a light layer. I don't want to make it really dark. louder, a little bit more upbeat. So maybe I'm going to change the colors that I use. It kind of like the way it sounds kind of reminds me of a snake. So maybe I'll use that kind of shape. of a dream. So usually when I dream or I think about dreaming, I think of clouds. So I'm going to add a cloud. Oh, 
I hear some strings like a guitar, so maybe I'll add some lines. Ooh, you hear that deep drum sound? I kind of think of marching. So I think I'm gonna add like a shape of a shoe or a foot. I actually like that sound of the drum, so I'm going to put some drum cymbals in here. makes me kind of feel like dancing so maybe I'll do a little twirl to represent dancing mm -hmm. the sound also kind of sounds sneaky to me and I think mouses are a little sneaky, so I'll probably put in a little mouse shape in here. All right, so now that we have our finished masterpiece, let's take a look at it. Here is my piece inspired by Muller's excerpt. Symphony number one, movement three. Thank you so much and have a discovery day.